Yep, I'm recording. All right, so um, so mind traps. I think it's very auspicious when someone, a spiritual seeker, is ready to let go of the addiction to thoughts. Um, and I always emphasize to everyone I meet, it's, you know, before you start, I mean, you can let go of your addiction to thoughts at any time. Of course, Miracles is quite reasonably good, or self inquiry of the observer is quite good for that. But um, uh, uh, if you're in active addiction, I do recommend maybe a 12 step group. I mean, if you're taking drugs, alcohol, eating a ton of donuts, and sort of um, uh, womanizing or whatever it is uh, with lots of people, then uh, probably, you know, you, getting a handle on those things and letting those go uh, and going through the withdrawal of any sort of major external addictions, I would recommend that. Because why? Uh, before letting go of the addiction to thoughts. Um, because if you've got a lot of repressed feelings and major addictions like food, drugs, alcohol, uh, also codependency, um, uh, 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 or addiction to people, dependency on people, all of those uh, create repression, huge repression of feelings and accumulation of feelings. So every time you have a feeling you eat a donut, every time you have a feeling um, you drink some alcohol or drugs, every time you have a feeling um, you call up that special person to get comfort from them. It's a huge repression of feelings to go through the um, repressed feelings. So I do recommend that just as a starter, just in case someone's listening to this video for the very first time. But, uh, you know, 12 step groups, I do recommend depending on how you use to repress your feelings or distract. Uh, after that, um, you'd let go of a lot of the repressed feelings uh, that, that will soften. Why? Why let go? Why not go for the addiction to thought straight away? Like go for and not put down the addictions. Well, if you've got like heavy fear, shame and guilt and anger under the hood and you're trying to let go of your addiction to thoughts, they, they, those huge amounts of repressed feelings make, makes the thoughts very sticky. So uh, I, I use the word sticky, if you like. It means that even though you're trying to let go of your thoughts and be in the infinite presence, uh, because you've got so many repressed feelings, they act like a magnet pulling in thoughts like if you've got tons of fear, they'll pull in lots of fear-based thoughts very, very quickly. They suck them in, or a lot of guilt and shame. It'll suck in, like almost like a radio station. You're pulling in guilty thoughts uh, or, or fear. Or if you're in addiction, like desirous thoughts, oh, I need another donut, I need a, another glass of alcohol. I need to contact that person I really like, whatever it is. So you want to, um, uh, so letting go of uh, craving, desirous thoughts, uh, fear thoughts, shame thoughts. You want to be letting go of those things and going through withdrawal. And that means there's not so many repressed feelings. Then doing something uh, like self-inquiry or all my thoughts are meaningless, as it says in the Course in Miracles, becomes much more productive. Now, if you let go of the major addictions and you're doing the Course in Miracles or self-inquiry, the observer, then um, uh, uh, so you may ask the question, um, uh, what about mind traps and mind intrusions and thought intrusions? You might be in the beautiful presence, the holy instant, the eternal now, feeling one out of thoughts in bliss, and yet suddenly there's a, a, an attack of thoughts. Now, there can be two reasons for this, and I recommend, um, I recommend a few things. I mean, but you'd have to diagnose, is it more repressed feelings and addiction? Uh, that is the source. Is it more that you need more training in letting go of and also more higher intention and maybe prayer and alignment to really get uh, really dedicated in constantly letting go of every thought? Also, it can be that you've got some belief systems or what I call you've let go of the repressed feelings, but there are some very, very special thoughts or beliefs which are highly precious, which have been unconsciously avoided. And so, um, uh, so when you're in, a, in, in these infinite still silences, um, suddenly like there's an intrusion of thinking, like uh, what could it be? Like, uh, you know, I think uh, EastEnders is gonna be on in an hour. Um, so let's uh, put that on or something, whatever it is. Probably not EastEnders, but, uh, uh, but uh, could be Netflix or something, who knows? Or maybe it's like you haven't had an ice cream for three months or something. 
So, um, so that means those thoughts are actually special thoughts. So doing something like if you investigate, oh, those are, you usually don't get a mind attack of thoughts or mind traps with thoughts which are not special because the ego will always attack you where you're weak. So you're not going to get a thought, you know, like you're in blissful stillness in the, in the, in the present moment and suddenly you get a thought like, uh, I wonder what color, what color flowers there are in the garden. I mean, that, that would be meaningless. That's hardly going to stop your infinite stillness probably going to be a special thought could be an attractive thought or an aversion thought or fear-based thought like oh I just remembered I haven't got enough money to pay the rent or um or I better give that person a call uh, that person hasn't called me in a while and I want to make sure I keep them on the hook or whatever it is so keep a dependency going on so you want to like then um so what you can do with those thoughts is do the cancelling of beliefs or lesson 14 of the course of miracles uh, God did not create my dependency on this person, so it is not real. I cancel my belief in dependency on this person, an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Now, if there seems to be a, uh, a sense of a lot of repressed feelings, like there's a craving for a donut, a person to watch Netflix, that would also tend to say that there's a lot of repressed feelings. Am I distracting in a way from my repressed feelings? Uh, maybe I should just bottom line uh, Netflix for a few months just to bring out all the, or maybe that person that I'm getting used to calling every day, maybe I need to bottom line that so I can bring up the feelings and just loosen up my um, addictive tendencies and the repression of feelings that result when I get, um, when I start using something in the world to escape feelings and this then undoes. So it could be the feelings, too much repressed feelings, could be something addictive, or it could be that you've let go of all addictions, you've let go of all um, repressed feelings, but you still have special thoughts, which are avenues for attack. It could be fear-based money, or it could be attractions, ice cream. So you don't want to cancel or let go of those ones uh, to do that. Uh, the other thing I would say is when you get towards the end, where you really want that infinite presence or that bliss or that joy or that freedom, from ego self more than anything else, then it's time really I would do, you know, very simple prayers, like just praying for the willingness to go to any lengths to let go of, uh, to let go of any thoughts or addictions that block you from, uh, from grace or from uh, the infinite or from enlightenment. Just uh, 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 doing those prayers on a regular basis will, also you could pray to pray to God, the Holy Spirit, for a miracle that you it be revealed to you. What are the major blocks that you haven't seen yet, which are stopping you from connecting to source? So you can, and then it will come. Just keep doing those prayers for the willingness and that anything be revealed to you, and they will eventually be revealed to you. And then you can pray for the willingness to let those things go, which block you off from from that to infinite. Letting go of the ego. Let us let's go. I mean, I just quickly chat on the addiction to thinking or you know um some of the core belief systems around the ego like the ego likes to say that my personal thinking my self-centered thinking is the source of my life without me you won't stay alive you won't be able to function you're going to go down the rabbit hole i would say with that um of course it will bring up a lot of fear to let go of uh, self-centered thinking and to trust in an infinite presence to orchestrate you spontaneously from a field of, if you like, no mind. In no mind, oh, you can still speak and thoughts can arise and actions can happen, but it's not coming from the traditional me thinking mind. Uh, that's probably not explained very well, but anyone who's had a, a spiritual experience um, in, in those fields of the infinite where everything is just happening and there doesn't seem to be me there will know what I'm talking about. So it's actually an illusion that I need to suck myself into a self-centered thinker to save my life. Actually, you'll find that in those infinite states, uh, life or grace has a way of looking after you far better than you trying to think it all through and control everything. But uh, that may, be, may seem like an act of faith. So that's a core belief. There's also like the vanity. Oh, these are my special thoughts and these are my special fantasies and these are my special goals. and. I'm so important and these thoughts are so important and I really I'm really addicted to just being in the drama of my thinking all the time. 
So that can be like a huge sort of vanity of my self-centered thinkingness. That can be another major uh, thing with the intellect. Uh, so, you know, there'd be a lot of beliefs around survival and also how do you control and keep, keep things going? Surely you have to think things up. Again, you know, you can either, um, uh, it's, I would say it's often good to go to spiritual groups. I mean, if you're alone uh, and you're around people who have let go and can tell you and give you some guidance in case you go into fear that you're not willing or it'll be too scary to let go, uh, you can hear other people's experiences and that can be helpful and the group energy can be helpful. Um, so those are some of the things. Um, understand that if you really want to be free, you will be anything, any special thought in your head that can tempt you will come up for you to transcend and clear that. Any addiction will also come up. And the ego will be very happy if you um, pick up like a donut addiction or a TV addiction or start uh, or even start getting, you know, um, too scared. So you better control your finances and get another job and get busy. So uh, there is a context to what I'm saying. So I hope people don't take what I'm saying out of context, uh, but I will press stop now and stop.